Rupin Pass is a high altitude trek which starts from Jiskun and ends in Sangla both in Himachal Pradesh The trek is full of diverse natural phenomena from sightings of majestic Himalayan ranges to waterfalls glacial meadows and snow capped landscapes The best view comes after the hardest climb a very popular travel code and so is the Rupin Pass trek Our journey of 7 days is here in the next 25 minutes hope you all will like the video A very good morning everyone It's 6 am in the morning and we are at Shimla old bus stand heading towards the Jiskun village which is a 10 hour drive from Shimla and our base camp for the trek The route to Jiskun goes through Roru town along the river Pabbar. This route goes through the extremely beautiful and scenic Chanchil Valley which is a trek in itself. The road to Jiskun from Chanchil Valley is a complete off-road journey. दोस्तों अभी हम पहुंच गए हैं चंचल पास और लगभग 12,000 फीट की हाइट पे हैं और यहां से अब हम जा रहे हैं जिसकुन लगभग दो घंटा भी लगेगा यहां से जिसकुन जाने में आगे का रास्ता बिल्कुल कच्चा है पूरा ऑफ रोड ट्रैक था और मेरे ख्याल टेम्परेचर भी इस समय यहां पे 6 से 7 डिग्री का होगा ठंड तो काफ़ी हो रही है अब आगे चलते हैं और जिसकुन में मिलते हैं गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स अभी हम हैं जिसकुन गांव में और ये हमारा बेस कैंप है यहाँ से आज हम झाका के लिए ट्रेक करेंगे और आइए आपको झलक दिखाते हैं कि जिसकुन गांव कैसा दिखता है एट एन एल्टीट्यूड ऑफ 7,700 फीट जिसकुन इज द बेस कैंप फॉर द रूपिन पास ट्रेक द टोटल जोग्राफिकल एरिया ऑफ दिस विलेज इज अराउंड फोर हंड्रेड and has a population of around 1000 people the village is divided into two parts and the lower jiskun is now called bauta after a walk in the jiskun village Now it was time for some healthy breakfast and our morning tea. After the breakfast we all gathered up in the hall for a brief by our trek leader. The treat for birders today we'll start from Jiskun which is at 7700 feet. We'll be heading through a beautiful forest section, mostly pine trees. You'll observe. We'll see a lot of akro trees also. We'll see, um, uh, say, um, oak trees as well. You'll we'll see birch patra trees as well. So when it comes to this trek, it's very rich in its ecology, in its flora fauna. 
and one i can surely say it is one of the most beautiful treks when it comes to natural elements so from here today we'll be moving to jhaka which is 8790 feet jhaka is again their hometown very beautiful village very culturally rich in terms of architecture in terms of food it's a 3 and a half kilometer walk to jhaka the highest and the last village on the rupin pass trek the route is scenic though it's a challenging trek Jhaka is also known as the hanging village the village seems to hang over a cliff and is also the last village on a trail towards the rupin pass so dosto hum log pahunchne wale hain jhaka village aaj subah humne apna trek start kiya tha jiskun se aur kuch 2.5 se 3 ghante ka samay laga hai hame pahunchne mein aur aage chalte hain aur jhaka village mein milte hain We reached Jhaka village at around 12 in the noon. After lunch and some rest, now it was time for a walk to the village to know about its culture and its architecture. Also known as the hanging village, Jhaka has a population of around 700. The dwellings at Jhaka are built by the traditional technique called kaatkuni which prevents the buildings from being harmed by earthquakes. The construction technique is prevalent in the isolated hills of North India. The wooden hand carved building is the Kul Devta temple of Jhaka. it was a cultural experience and also a natural experience cultural experience because first two days we stayed in two of two different villages one is jiskum and the second one is jaka where we got to actually meet the local people their architectures their food the way of living and uh, it was a beautiful experience i mean one of the uh, family members was just walking around they just invited us over and uh, served us tea and we started talking to them about Today's trek starts from Jhaka village to Sarvasthach a trek distance of 7 kilometers which will take a duration of around 5 to 6 hours starting at an altitude of 8790 feet all the way to 10770 feet and an elevation gain of almost 2000 feet I'll tell you more about Nikins as we move forward so you can have a look if you want we can carry it with us we can make mehndi as well The day's trek starts off in a magnificent fir forest, one of the best forest sections on any trek. दोस्तों आप हमारे पीछे देख सकते हैं ये रूपिन नदी है और इस समय इसका पानी का करंट बहुत तेज है. आज हम ट्रेक कर रहे हैं जाका से सरुवास थाज का और ये रूट लगभग साढ़े सात किलोमीटर लंबा है. ट्रेल थोड़ा चैलेंजिंग है, but मौसम बहुत अच्छा है, बहुत हमारे साथ दे रहा है As we move further the trail descends down into the valley on the banks of the Rupin river At 12 in the noon it was time for a lunch break and some rest We tried this local dish called siddu ghee served with honey
सो फाइनली वी हैव रीच्ड आर टूडेज डेस्टिनेशन दैट इज आर कैंप साइट एट सर्वस थाच आई एम सरप्राइज बाय द ब्यूटी ऑफ दिस प्लेस इट सीम्स लाइक वी हैव लैंडेड इन अ फेरी लैंड fantastic experience and soon after we finished the village we got into the nature part of it uh, went through this forest that uh, arjun talks about in um, in in india hikes video in uh, in on on uh, on, on youtube and um, that's a fantastic experience i mean the trees are like 3 and 400 years old and you go and you touch the trees and you hug the trees and it was an, it was an experience it's an it's an earthly experience right i mean it's a worldly experience rather than an unworldly experience. Today we will trek from Sarwa Stach to Dhandera Stach a distance of 3 kilometers which will take a duration of 2 hours the shortest and perhaps the prettiest day of the trek नमस्कार दोस्तों सुबह के अभी 9 बज रहे हैं और हम लोग हैं सरसा थाच में और यहाँ से हमारी अभी ढाई किलोमीटर की ट्रेक स्टार्ट होने जा रही है हम आज जाएंगे लोअर वाटरफॉल जिसे बोलते हैं धानेरा थाच कल उसके बाद हम जाएंगे वहाँ से अपर वाटरफॉल के लिए तो हम अपनी ट्रेक स्टार्ट करने जा रहे हैं और आगे मिलते हैं यस स्नो ब्रिजेस आर कॉमन ऑन स्लोप्स बट टू सी देम ऑन अ वाइड ओपन वैली इज अ सरप्राइज लेडन विद स्नो दीज ब्रिजेस आर क्वाइट अदर वर्ल्डली एज यू वॉक ओवर देम देर आर मेनी सच ब्रिजेस ऑन द वे Today we will trek from Dhandera Stach to Upper Waterfall a trek distance of 2.4 kilometers which will take almost 2 to 3 hours and an altitude gain of almost 1500 feet So day 5 is an important day it's a steep climb today and adding to the difficulties it's a rock fall zone so we need to wear our helmets the distance is about a kilometer to the base of the waterfall from dhandera stach
things got serious when we reached the snow patch at the base of the waterfall a big thanks to the team of india hikes a trail had already been made with the help of ice axe by the team and we followed it very carefully here is a spectacular view of the waterfall it's like thousands of waterfalls flowing down through such a height that it appears as they are falling straight from the sky so finally we have reached our upper waterfall camp at an altitude of 13395 feet The upper waterfall campsite is pure luxury. After a tiring climb, we enjoyed our lunch besides the Rupin River. and uh, you know once we crossed over we we saw like lovely green meadows and uh, the uh, the river passing by and and at one point in time where we stopped you know the river was calm and we just stopped over and just soaked in the nature completely um and then started the real trek i would say i mean going up from uh, where we were at the campsite at the meadows uh you know up to the water, upper waterfalls was definitely uh, you know a certain kind of a challenge both physically as well as mentally uh but i think we had the right group of people who were actually supporting us uh guiding us and uh taking us um, through some of the uh, i would even say uh, tricky uh, paths right i mean we had to walk over uh, the ice and some some of the inclines were almost 70 degrees Day 6 is the most adventurous and the longest day of our trek. The steep climb to Rupin Pass and the sharp descent to the Rontegar campsite will take almost 9 to 10 hours. Badhiya mil raha tha aaj aap 1 ghante chala le. 1 ghanta ho gaya. 1 ghanta jahan mein jo hamara goal tha wahan par hai. Idhar dekho chalo sab. Kyun dukhi ho yaar? Main kal jitna race do na thoda thoda aaram aaram se. Theek hai. अब रूपिंग के रास्ते में हैं और आधे रास्ते पहुंच गए हैं लगभग हज़ार फीट का असेंड हम कर चुके हैं और अभी 1800 फीट के आसपास पूरा करना है मुझे उम्मीद है लगभग दो घंटे में हम लोग रूपिंग के पास पहुंच जाएंगे तो आगे मिलते हैं So this is the most challenging part of the trek the gully it's a 200 meter long 60 to 70 degree incline trek and takes about 45 minutes to climb the climb through the gully is a thrilling one
पीछे को ये नाले जो जा रहे हैं नारगिन से और बुरान से सेम इसी नाले से उतर सकते हैं हम रोंटी गार्ड पहुंचते हैं डायरेक्ट जो हमारी कैंप साइट है और जो हमारे को ये सामने देखने में ये ऊपर को देख सकते हैं कि हमारे जो संगला वाले हैं वो लोग जन्माष्टमी में क्या करते हैं यहाँ आते हैं और ये जन्माष्टमी में ऊंचे ऊंचे पर्वत लगाते हैं मतलब ये पत्थर लगाते हैं ताकि ऊंचे ऊंचे सोन जाए पिलर जैसे खड़े है जी 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 मैम जन्माष्टमी मतलब एक कल्चर है तो कल्चर को फॉलो करते हुए हर साल After crossing Rupin Pass, it's a steep descent to the Rontegar camp. After 6 long hours of trekking, our group seems to be very tired. For the past 6 days, we were together like a family. And now it's the second last day of our trip. Tomorrow is the day when we reach Sangla and see off all our friends as it would be the end of this journey. I'm sad about it from the second last day. Maybe I can't express it in words. This feeling within me resembles with the one from the last day at school. Hello everyone. I'm talking to you from uh, day 5 on the Rupin Pass trek. Uh we are almost getting ready to uh pack and leave down. We just climbed down yesterday from 15,300 feet. That was our summit. It was an excellent trek, Rupin Pass, ex especially because of the reason that you know most of the passes um, or most of the trek we actually went through along the river of Rupin. This is my first trek, uh, my first Himalayan trek, my first uh, trek ever, and uh, I chose Rupin Pass because uh, my friend recommended it. He came along with me. and uh, the overall experience has been really great we saw a lot of uh, nature scenery all types of landscape forest snow snow bridges and then of course uh, the valleys river crossings and finally the the gully uh, <laughs> the gully experience is terrific the the ascent till the gully itself was really great and the site because rupen is not uh, easy on people who are not fit so We should come and enjoy. एक दो दिन शुरुआत के थोड़े इजी थे बट लास्ट डे जो समिट था गली में से जाने वाला सेवेंटी डिग्री इंक्लाइन तो वो थोड़ा चैलेंजिंग था थोड़ा नहीं मैं बोलूँगी बहुत ज़्यादा चैलेंजिंग था पर एक दूसरे के साथ सहकार और टीम वर्क से हम लोगों ने बहुत इजीली वो अचीव कर लिया और चार पांच ट्रैक्स किए हिमालयन रीजन में अभी तक का सबसे फेवरेट के था उसके बाद हर के दून और अभी हम रुपिन पास आए थे रुपिन पास बहुत ही सुंदर है और ब्यूटी के हिसाब से देखें तो जो कैंप साइट्स थे वो उससे बहुत ही सुंदर थे और गली का एक्सपीरियंस अलग ही था क्योंकि हम माइक्रो स्पाइक पहन के एक सेवेंटी डिग्री इंक्लाइन पर धीरे धीरे चढ़ते हैं तो वो हमेशा यादगार रहेंगे पहले जो है रूपकुंड और केदारखंड और हमटा पास ट्रैक किया है और उसके बाद हमने जो है रूपिन पास किया जिसका अनुभव हमारे को बहुत अच्छा लगा और गली का अनुभव तो इन पिछले तीन ट्रैक से बहुत ही नेक्स्ट लेवल का ट्रैक था जो बहुत चैलेंजिंग था हमारे लिए और एंड फॉर दिस ट्रैक रूपिन पास वी केम इन मे लास्ट वीक एंड दिस ट्रैक वॉज रियली अमेजिंग because at each and every point the scene gate changes and, uh, and today we are descending from the ronti ghat to shangla gali and uh, one thing i want to say about the rupin gali the gali is literally means uh, breath taking means uh, it was a uh, really challenging and it shows how you have guts to conquer that gali so the time i met 19 trekkers at jiskun which is the base camp for rupin i understood that this team has come with the right expectations they were all prepared they were all geared up uh, they had worked really hard 
to complete the trek and complete it successfully and as the trek progressed i could see that at every campsite they raised my expectations and they made me more proud as a trek leader because they are not falling short anywhere they were motivating each other i did, didn't have to push the team anywhere at the gully also i could see that team spirit i could see that bond that has been created and i think that team spirit that working as one unit helped them to reach the top successfully and uh, i think as trekking is a team sport they have shown the right example what a team does and what a team uh, can do so it was amazing uh, taking this team through this beautiful trek challenging trek and it was my first group as well so it will always be special to my heart and i loved uh, trekking If you have watched the video till here I hope you have liked it so please make sure to subscribe Indian Road Trips thank you so much everyone for watching this video